I want to help you because you got hurt and I wasn't here. What would you say if I told you that I want to come home? Words that I've been waiting to hear for a very long time. Wait a minute. Now, five minutes ago, Ridge was with Taylor holding her hands and rubbing her shoulders, and I'm pretty sure making her believe that he was going to pick her. Now he gets to Brooke's house and he's being loving with her. He sees that she broke her ankle. And he feels like, oh, you were hurt and I wasn't there. Now I have to come back. Is it just me or are all these men written to have a savior complex? If they see a woman in the slightest bit of distress, they feel like they have to jump in and be the savior. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. So I definitely think we have some scenes that move the storylines forward today. We have Ridge making a decision finally for now. We have Finn remembering everything and confronting Sheila. And we also had Jack coming to visit Taylor and Thomas. Let's get into it. I want to come home. say Catherine breaking her ankle in real life really fit nicely into the storyline as a segue for Ridge to come up with a reason to come back to Brooke. I wonder what the original plan was to make that happen because clearly they were going to go there the whole time. But it starts out with them discussing Sheila and all the events recently and that night when Brooke kissed Deacon. She tells Ridge that she knows it was a betrayal but she never would have done it if she was sober, he says he knows. And that's when he moves over to the couch by her and starts asking her, how does she feel about him coming home? Now, like I said earlier, it's really funny that when he was all of this time lately, he's been spending with Taylor. He flirts equally with both of these ladies. With he, When he's with one, he seems like he's totally into her. When he's with the other one, he seems like he's totally into her. So I know this is going to hit Taylor kind of hard when she finds out that he took Brooke back. No, no, I, I'm, I'm not taking you there. Trust me, those doctors left you for dead. Your mother saved your life. You? Yeah. Yes, yes, I, I saved you. Mommy's here, baby. Mommy's here and she's going to take care of you. Does that sound good? Mommy's here. Uh, no, Sheila, that doesn't sound good because mommy is crazy. Now we are in mommy dearest territory here. And notice that she lied to him about who saved him. She messed up and said, your mother saved you. He was thinking Lee. And she says, I save you. Then when he asks for Lee, she gets upset. This is a powder keg because Sheila can go off at any minute. And it's like he's a little child. He's aggravating her at this point. He keeps wanting to go to the hospital. She doesn't want to do that. She's not telling him the whole story, just tidbits. But I can see this going left really fast. Damn it. Hey, just do what mommy says. So you're alive and, and you're awake. You got your whole life to live. See, see Steffi and Hayes. No, 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 not now. I will say this, Tanner and Kimberly are killing these scenes. That was intense. It's like they're both being defiant right now, but Finn kind of backs up because all of this, your mommy's here. She went on to tell him you have the rest of your life to stay with Steffi, but you're with mommy now. And I think Finn is starting to realize how crazy she really is. I'm guessing he's regretting not taking Steffi's advice back when she was telling him that she's crazy and she's not healed. <laughs> Get 
So he definitely comes to the realization that he's with a crazy woman and he vows that he's going to find a way out there. So I think he's going to play it low key and try to figure out how to escape. Now, this is a lot. We have to remember, he just woke up and she sprung all of this on him. And now he, she did let him know also that Steffi thinks that he's dead. So he's dealing with all of this and realizing that his mother is Looney Tunes and trying to figure out how he's going to escape. So it will definitely be interesting to see how this plays out and how he ends up being able to make a run for it. Because we know the reunion with Steffi and Finn is going to happen in Monte Carlo. Now, we also have Jack back on the scene today. He comes to visit Taylor and Thomas. He's happy to be in Finn's final place. He wants to know where Finn is buried or where his ashes are so that he can go and visit and they tell him that Lee wouldn't tell anybody. He says that Lee has not talked to him since everything came out. He wants to try to find her. Sheila says she's probably drowning in grief. I said that's an interesting play on words considering that what we assume is that she drowned in that lake. So they kind of left it open-ended with the Jack scene, but I do wonder if he's going to be the one to find Lee. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you happy that Ridge finally made a decision he's back with Brooke, or do you think he should have stayed with Taylor? And what are your thoughts on Finn and Sheila's storyline? Will he get out safely before she snaps and try to kill him again? But as always, thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like the video, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.